talking to Mike Leonard. Mike Leonard has this incredibly fast Chevelle back here. Looks great, Mike. You had a little bit of tire spin, but it looks like you have a lot of horsepower, and you are good to go next round. Yeah, it uh, seemed to be running pretty good, but wasn't much track right there. Uh, we ran really good at Bakersfield at the March meet, qualified number one with a 668 at 210. Now, this is a double-A gas car for real life, so it's got a smaller blower and a smaller motor than most of the uh, Pro Modern Nitro Coupe cars. Those are 526, ours is 483, and our blower is a 671 standard helix, and the rest of them are a 1471 high helix. So there's a bit more power to be had on the other end. Well, maybe that might give you a little advantage with this track being a little loose. Might give you a little bit of a better shot at hooking up. Yeah, that's that's possible too. Uh, the car seems to go down almost any track. That's the first pass I've ever made here at this track. So it, uh, it, it seems to be all right, but it was a little bit loose out there. Super Chevy show, lots of cars, lots of cars. Having fun out here, though, aren't you guys? Yeah, we're having a good time. I always wanted to run Super Chevy. I thought this thing would fit right into it, and uh, so we're, we're happy to be here. And it does. It's a perfect fit. Now, how about sponsors? Anybody helping you out? Yeah, uh, Jim Burns, who couldn't make it. He's uh, out of Washington. It's Burns Telecommunications Installations, and he bought us this new block that we have in here, a new billet block, and he's, he's helped out with a lot of motor parts and stuff. Been with us for about five or six years. Uh, Rick Gold at ERC Racing Fuel sponsors this for alcohol and, uh, and has for quite a few years. Uh, and then my brother, Steve Leonard, Leonard Trucking, buys his rear tires. However, these Mickeys, I wanted our association meeting on a drawing, but my brother Steve is the one who uh, usually buys the tires for the car. I'm a tractor mechanic by trade, and you know, this is a pretty expensive hobby. Well, how about these guys back here turning wrenches while you're up here soaking up the limelight? This is Scott Cunningham behind me. He is a, uh, a Ford mechanic, as is Jeff, the younger. He's been with us for three years. He's 23 now. Uh, and then Tom Johnson that does the fuel. Uh, actually, he's a marble and granite guy, but he's been turning wrenches on this thing for the, uh, since 98. And uh, he's taken over the fuel system and seems to be doing a hell of a good job.